Frontier from American English with this guy. Uh, I think this is going to be English teacher challenge number 11. It might be 12. But in this English lesson, I cannot stop recording for any reason. But I do need to deliver a good English lesson so that you can improve your English. But even if I make a mistake, I have to keep rolling. I cannot stop the video for any reason. Right now, I'm walking in my neighborhood and it is cold, really cold and a little icy. So it's cold and icy and that's what makes this even more of a challenge. Plus, I have to have a light on and it makes it hard to see what's in front of me. But in this English lesson, I wanna tell you uh, a couple stories about what happened to me last night, what is not going to happen to me in a couple weeks, and uh, why I have no beard. But before that, let's talk about the weather and talk about a couple English terms. Is the camera crooked? Is, is it straight? I'm a little worried about that. <clears throat> uh, hopefully, hopefully I don't slip on the ice. It's hard to see. But there is quite a bit of ice on the road. So the first uh, phrasal verb I wanna teach you is bundled up. It's a really cold night tonight, so I put on my hat, I put on my gloves, I am all bundled up. You want to bundle up before you go outside on a cold night. And I hear some machine running in the distance. That's part of the challenge. I have to keep teaching English no matter what happens. So bundled up is the first term I wanna teach you. Hopefully you know that term now. The next is a term that we might use for nights like these. <clears throat> and this is a night not fit for man nor beast. So this is a night not fit for man nor beast. So you don't want to be out in this weather. I'm sure you know what uh, a man is. Well, I'm a man and I'm out in the weather, so I don't want to be out here, but uh, this is part of the challenge. Uh, a beast, that's a wild animal. So if you have a, a pet dog, you wouldn't call that a beast, but maybe a wolf out in the woods we might call that a beast. So an animal that is wild, that is not tamed. And you notice that I used nor there instead of or. That's just the way the saying goes. A knight not fit for man nor beast. So older saying, we keep the nor. Hopefully that's something new for you. You will hear it when a knight is cold or maybe a little stormy. All right, the next thing I wanna talk about, making sure no cars are coming down the street. The next thing I wanna talk about is uh, why I have no beard. <laughs> Tonight is Christmas Eve Eve. So it's the night before Christmas Eve, which is the night before Christmas. So tomorrow is Christmas Eve, the next day is Christmas. So this is technically Christmas Eve Eve. You will hear that saying every so often. And I am really, really disoriented. That's another term I can teach you. If you don't know exactly where you are, I'm not lost exactly, I'm just disoriented. It's, I don't know exactly where I am. I'm still in my neighborhood, so I'm not lost. I just don't know how far down the street I am. All right, I think I need to turn here. So the reason I, I don't have a beard is because uh, my wife and I, we don't really exchange presents. It's a good verb to use. If you give someone a present and they also give you a present. I don't know if you heard that bang, but I think it's so cold that um, some of the wood, if it has water in it, it pops and it makes a really loud bang. 
that happens on my back deck sometime. It's made of wood and it's when it's really cold, you'll hear some popping. Um, it's also uh, 15 degrees Fahrenheit out here, but the uh, weather um, is a little windy tonight. So it actually feels like three degrees Fahrenheit. And I will put what that is in Celsius on the screen. All right, back to my no beard Christmas. My wife and I don't really exchange gifts. Like we'll give our kids gifts, but we don't give each other gifts. We don't exchange gifts. So she really likes it when I don't have a beard. I think she's the only person in the world that likes my face better when I don't have a beard. So I told her, hey, for Christmas, I will shave the beard off. But guess what? As soon as December 26th rolls around, I'm letting the hair grow back. So last night, um, check out my Instagram too. If you want to see some of the pictures from last night, but not too far from where I live is a city called Portland, Maine, and they have really good food, really good restaurants. So we went to, we had a date night, um, you might say, and that is when uh, a couple might leave the kids at home and spend time with each other. And that's what we did. There's a little bit of a hill here. So I'm a little out of breath. There are more street lights here now. So I know where I'm at. Yeah, so we had a date night last night and we had this really good pizza. There's a picture of it on my Instagram. And the restaurant was called Via Vecchia, which means Old Street in Italian. So there are some figures across the, down the street here. I hope they aren't, I think they're just trash cans, but <clears throat> You probably can't see anything. It just looked a little weird for a second. That's part of the challenge though. Um, I was worried that a dog may come running out, you know, but hey, I still have to teach the lesson. It's not a challenge if it's easy. That's why this is English teacher challenge number 11, I think. Uh, yeah, so we had a great date night last night. It was a little present we gave to ourselves. And my children are 14 and 15 years old. So they could stay by themselves for a little bit. We had a very good night last night. Now, the last thing I wanna talk about uh, is my plans for next week. Heard something fall. It sounded like a dog, a chain. And uh, people probably are wondering, hey, who's that guy walking down the street with the light? Uh, in, a, in about a week, I was supposed to fly to Sweden. We were going to go through Germany, land in Germany, and then take another plane. This is a busier street. So I might turn around. Hey, but hopefully you're getting some good English listening comprehension. You know, I start the story and then sometimes I get distracted. So that's all part of learning a language. I'm sure that happens in your native language. People start telling the story. They might get sidetracked. That's when uh, people start telling a different story and they don't mean to. They might get a little distracted or a little sidetracked, but back to my story about the flight to Germany and then on to Sweden, and then we were going to take a ferry up to Finland. Well, guess what? It got canceled, just like almost everything else in 
2020, 2021, it was canceled. So I worry a little bit about young people. Um, like I said, my kids are in their early teens and they've had a lot of disappointments in the last couple years. They seem to be doing fine, but I think there are some children around the world, probably some adults too, that are a little frustrated because of all the disappointments that have happened over the past couple years. So I do worry a little bit about people's mental health. Um, just, you know, the world is such a different place than it was just two years ago. So, and I, and I don't think that is for the better. I think it's for the worst, uh, for the worse, uh, the, the, what's going on now in the world. And you look back uh, almost two years ago, it'd be two years in just a couple months. Well, I hope you've learned some English from this. There is a whole playlist right up there of English teacher challenges. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.